Pneumatic conveying equipment and dust control exhaust systems that transport combustible particulate solids need to be protected from fire and dust explosions. Combustible particulate solids that have settled onto surfaces such as floors, platforms, suspended ceilings, and building structural members, as well as inside pipes and ducts, can burn if exposed to a source of ignition. If combustible particulate solids are thrown into the workplace air during cleaning or by excessive drafts in the plant, the resulting combustible dust can present a fire or deflagration hazard if exposed to an ignition source. Most fire found in daily life, from flames to explosions, is technically deflagration. When compressed air is mixed with dust, then you have an additional fire and explosion hazard. The National Fire Protection Association, NFPA, publishes NFPA 654, Standard for the Prevention of Fire and Dust Explosions from the Manufacturing, Processing, and Handling of Combustible Particulate Solids. This document provides standards for facility and system design and process equipment, including pneumatic, conveying, and dust control systems. The 2006 edition of NFPA 654 defines a combustible particulate solid as any combustible solid material composed of distinct particles or pieces regardless of size, shape, or chemical composition. Without going into technical details, combustible dust is a combustible particulate solid that presents a fire or deflagration hazard when suspended in air or some other oxidizing medium over a range of concentrations regardless of particle size or shape. Why the distinction between combustible particulate solid and combustible dust? Even though a combustible particulate solid might not ignite readily or be capable of being suspended in air in its particulate form, as the pieces could be too large, the material can break down during such activities as shipping, handling, conveying, mixing, and pulverizing. It will then become an immediate hazard in its dust form if an ignition source is available. When a combustible solid becomes dust, it's an explosion hazard. Let's watch a demonstration of a combustible dust explosion. One of the best ways to prevent these explosions is to minimize dust accumulations. The good news is that employees can have a huge impact in this area. Ensuring good housekeeping, designing and maintaining equipment to prevent dust leaks, such as dust collectors, eliminating flat surfaces and areas where dust can accumulate, and sealing hard to clean areas, such as the areas above a suspended ceiling, can effectively prevent or at least minimize the severity of flash fires and dust explosions. Conversely, contributing factors behind combustible dust incidents include workers and managers were unaware of dust explosion hazards or failed to recognize the serious nature of dust explosion hazards. Facilities failed to conform to existing standards that would have prevented or reduced the effects of the explosions. Procedures and training to eliminate or control combustible dust hazards were inadequate. Warning events were accepted as normal and their causes were not identified and resolved. Dust collectors were inadequately designed or maintained. Don't wait to act. OSHA can site facilities right now using standards defined by its combustible dust national emphasis including electrical installations, housekeeping, hazard labeling, PPE hazard assessment, and the employer's duty to provide a workplace free from recognized hazards. In March 2009, $65,000 in penalties was levied against a sugar manufacturing facility based solely on the National Emphasis Program. Companies may be held civilly liable right now based on consensus standards. 
Increasingly stringent state, local, and organization-specific requirements are being adopted and policed right now by insurance risk managers, OSHA, state agencies, and fire marshals. Awareness of this issue is high among employees and community stakeholders because of media attention, including a 60 Minutes piece titled, Is Enough Done to Stop Explosive Dust? If your organization isn't addressing this issue, you run the real risk of someone's filing an OSHA complaint. The wisdom of acting now with regard to combustible dust doesn't change the fact that improvements to dust collection systems, electrical equipment, wiring, and other facility upgrades typically require significant human and financial resources. A tough sell when budgets are tight and cost reduction efforts are critical. Objective data are needed to make effective and cost-effective control recommendations. An important first step is a hazard and risk analysis to determine needs and prioritize implementation. If controls cannot be implemented now, plan and commit resources for future implementation, then seek interim control measures. Facilities should carefully assess the following. Materials that can be combustible when finely divided, processes that use, consume, or produce combustible dusts, open areas where combustible dust may build up, hidden areas where combustible dust may accumulate, means by which dust may be dispersed in the air, and potential ignition sources. Of course, the effectiveness of any control will depend wholly or in part on people. Everyone should be trained to recognize and prevent hazards associated with combustible dust, as well as understand the overall plant programs for dust control and ignition source control. Periodic retraining should refresh knowledge and cover hazard or process changes. It is crucial that such training drive home the value of controls, educating your workforce about the risks, hazards, and precautions within their control particularly if extra effort is required. Dust relocation by such methods as compressed air may find favor over safer vacuum cleaning methods. Combustible dust incidents can be devastating. These incidents will continue if action is not taken. Don't wait. Evaluate your operation. Check OSHA and NFPA, implement effective controls, and provide training to take this threat seriously and know how to avert an explosion. That gives you an idea how devastating combustible dust can be. There are many other incidents equally devastating in many different industries. An automobile wheel manufacturing plant suffered an explosion due to aluminum wheel dust accumulating and was joined by some ignition source. Almost any industry where combustible dust is allowed to accumulate can cause an explosion. Be part of the prevention and work to keep areas clean and inspect regularly for dust accumulation. Combustible dust poses a dangerous, explosive threat in the workplace. Do your part. It's the only way to work safely.